how to install the TPO volume profile from a Trader 4. It's uh, definitely a good idea to look at your volume profile because it gives you a nice view about how the market is structured and you can see uh, levels of interest where the point of control, which is your volume node, it's, it kind of acts like a magnet for price. So I'll show you how to install it. I'll make a second video on how to use it. But this video is just about how to install the TPO chart from MetroTrader 4. You get the link from the spreadsheet on the starter pack. Should be quite clear where it is. It does say TPO volume profile and you get a zip folder. So we're going to double click it. We're going to go to compressed folder tools, extract tool, extract. And then we can get rid of this window. We don't need that window anymore because we've extracted it. Now what we want to do is work with this folder, with the MetaTrader 4 data folder. And what we need to do is uh, transfer individual files across. So it's a little bit long-winded, but once it's done, it's done. Um, didn't want to do that. I wanted to, yes, I did. I want to go to File, Open Data Folder. And so we're going to be working with this folder. So we can grab that, left, hold left click and drag, and we're going to work with this. So uh, double click, and MQL4. MQL4, include, include, and you can't do the folders, you have to do the files. Because if you do the folders, it just doesn't copy. Uh, so that's that done. So we go up, uh, indicators, indicators, drag that, up, up, uh, libraries, libraries. It's fairly, fairly straightforward, it's just a bit long winded. So that's the files done. And then we could do optionally is to get the template, which is just something I recommend because it's uh, like a, a nice template the guys designed. So uh, we've got one more. Enter templates. Uh, double click. What we're going to do is right click, copy, paste, because we want to try and find this. <laughs> when we're in MetaTrader 4, it's easier to find this template. So paste that. So we haven't cut it, we just copied it because we, we want to locate this template for, uh, file. Okay, so that's in the templates, so that's fine. And there we go, we can close those down. So we're going to work with the Euro USD chart. So, uh, view, navigator, we can refresh. Oops, and it will appear here. There we go, touch the chart. You can leave these settings as they are. Uh, you can tweak them, of course. You can do whatever you like, but just maybe just keep them as they are. Um, so that's that. Yeah, just keep, click OK. And this is the Euro USD volume profile. So the second video that I'll make, possibly tomorrow, or maybe on the weekend, is how to use it because there's quite a lot uh, that I need to talk about the volume profile. But however, it looks a bit funky. So let's load that template. If you remember, we made a copy. So we go to template, load. And we're going to go into the folder that we downloaded or unzipped in. And it's there because we didn't cut it, we just copied it. So click open. And uh, this is the guy's uh, template. So that's how you install the TPO volume profile. And uh, the second part will be on how to use it. I have made videos on it before, so I could just refer you to those videos, but maybe I'll do a second part of it anyway. And so that's how you install TPO for MetaTrader 4. And you can see how you've got levels of confluence. So we know this is gonna be a strong level of resistance because you've got a double confluence. You know that we've got the date and the price. So um, time, price, and opportunity, that's what TPO means. So I'll do a second parter, uh, maybe tomorrow, and then I'll talk, I'll talk about how to use it but you can see how we've got a bit of resistance because we're creating um, volumes lower than the one prior. So the volume node here, we've got a volume node here. So this is fairly bearish for the Euro, Euro USD. You can see at a, you know, a big picture level. So hopefully it was helpful. Any likes and subscribes would be cool. Um, click the bell icon because I do daily videos and I'll speak to you later. Have a good day.